AEG bringing you another Gus's Treasures on this Saturday evening. We're going to continue playing inside exactly from where we left off last week. So I remember I had said that I was very excited and I probably would have gone another 10 minutes. But when I got up to here, I said, you know what? It's time. It's time to call it a night because it's going to be a doozy. I mean, this one, this section is one of my favorite sections in the entire game. So we're playing as the boy, again. And we're going to get in this little submarine here. Just getting acquainted, just literally getting my feet wet. Cool, you can see it's inside, it's got the light. See the shadow of the boy, look at that, see? Oh, oh, I gotta be careful, I don't want to die. The farther you go away, it gets bigger. That's just awesome. That's that's really cool. That's that's artwork right there. It takes time to get it done, but uh, I don't remember the controls much. You press down on the left stick to go down. You press X, and you do some sort of. You sort of expulse yourself. There you go. And you'll see why this is needed. There's going to be a... You'll, you'll see. You guys will see. But yeah, no, this game's awesome. I really enjoyed playing it last week. I'll be honest, I completely forgot all about it in terms of, hey, I, I did this. But I was looking forward to playing it yet again. So the reason you got the light, which is really cool, you see all these particles, right? Like all the sort of debris. Now I gotta break through that door, how can I do it? Oh, it's not a door you break through, it's already open. Okay. Well now it's closed. Okay. Hmm. Obstacle. Hold. Whoa, look at that. Something else, huh? <laughs> That's a great camera shot. It just pans all the way back, showing you this vista. Let's go back up here. And you see the camera right away just focuses on the sub. And when we go down, it pans back out. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I have no idea where we're going. You're supposed to go forward and I'm not doing that. All that water, all that pressure finally hit rock bottom. And I know it's sort of unorthodox for me to do this because usually you go forward. But that's what you get with Gus's treasures. I may do things that are unconventional. And honest, honestly, when I first played my first playthrough, I did, I did the exact same thing. This is how I play games, especially for someone like me who likes to hunt for trophies. Not that I'm, I was hunting for one here, but just wanted to see what the game had. And I'm a, I'm a fan of these type of games. Well, not these type of games in particular, but what I mean is I'm a, I'm a fan of the type of game where the developer puts control in your hand completely. You have complete and total control. Agency, as it were, that's one of the those gaming terms people like to use. Oh, wait a minute. What's that? That's a point of interest. You can see the camera is slowly zooming in on the boy. Broke right through it. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. And you can see it's 
got like the seat that rotates. You can see the boy just rotates. It's cool. I mean, just the level of detail in this game that the devs had to work so hard, I'm assuming, to get in. So now again, I don't know where I'm going. Maybe I've got. I'm pretty sure I got to go down, but I'll go up. Just cover all my bases. Yep. No, it's it's down. I got to go. You know, last week, uh, and I'll get back to it, I mean, it has to do with what I'm doing with, with this game now, but last week I started playing Dead Space, and it's just this horror, this horrible atmosphere, it's ugly, it's dour, it's oppressive setting. And I played inside on, on, uh, on Saturday, and this whole past week I've been playing Dead Space, I finished it finally, Saturday, early Saturday, Saturday morning. Saturday, Saturday, <laughs> early Saturday morning, and as soon as I finished, I started um, Dead Space 2, which is awesome. It's great, but after a while, it sort of gets to you just playing these type of games. It's very oppressive in nature, the setting, the colors. I know I've got to open this. Some sort of uh, some sort of mesh, some sort of wire mesh, rebar. Well, it's not rebar, but it's not sticking out. Huh. Clearly, I've got to get out and leave the sanctuary of the submarine. Something I've got to do. Some rats scurrying out. Boys climbing. There's a puzzle here. That's pretty obvious. Now that's a button. And I remember last week we had that button underwater that I pressed. I may have trouble with some of these puzzles only because there's a lot of the game I don't remember. And hopefully it'll come to me like that other one last week where I, I thought I was going to have trouble and it just came to me. I remembered it. I don't know what any of these numbers mean. Zero, two. We got this tree here. So we're, not a tree, but a branch what was a tree or a dead tree no idea okay I guess no more submarine for now damn alright so maybe it was a short tease but this, there's, there's a submarine section which is more substantial
feel like I can make this jump. And I can. I've got a swing. Actually, let me climb a little higher <laughs> just to make sure I can make this jump. Whoa, okay. Boy's got some hops. I thought I was going to make it. Oh, that's what it was. Fair enough. I see. So, yep, back on the sub. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I was expecting that, but not now. So that's something that we're going to have to contend with. That thing you saw, which I have no idea what it is. That thing. But it is a sign of things to come, I promise you. And I, I, was, I was startled, I'm not going to lie. I've been playing Dead Space all week. I started Dead Space 2 uh, yesterday. No, today. Saturday morning. No, that's a lie. No, I'm incorrect. I finished Dead Space Friday morning, and I started Dead Space 2 yesterday, because today's Saturday. And yeah, 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 correction, correction. Dead Space 1 was beaten on Friday, and I started Dead Space 2 that very same day. The light is very important. It'll keep certain things at bay. You'll see in a moment what I mean. So this is all completely submerged underwater. Right? And it's got me thinking now. Like, what was this place? I mean, where are we? Is this a facility? Is this a building? Is that yellow? It is. They don't remember that. So I don't remember this because I never got here. I totally must have skipped this when I first played it. And I did. Huh, maybe I didn't. I don't remember it. I'm going to get up there. Alright, well. That's how we're going to get up there. This is a tricky one. I don't particularly remember how we're going to do it. So it's relatively simple, as you can see. Except for the fact that we're going to need a third guy. So, the helmet up there controls this guy. And then I've got to somehow get this guy to wear the helmet in the middle, right there, up above the submarine in order to control the other guy who's up on that bridge who'll pull the lever or that little droid thingy right but how do I do that let's get up let's get up in there so I've got to use the bounce mechanism Oh, 
I know. I've got it. There it is. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I'll be honest, I don't remember... I don't remember me doing this my first playthrough. But... I somehow remember doing it. It's weird, some sort of form of deja vu. There it is. And that's how it's done. Okay, so that confirms... Oh, actually, no. It doesn't confirm whether I did it or not. I got a trophy for it. But it doesn't confirm that I didn't do it. Because I played it originally on Xbox. So. I love that sound. That trophy noise. It's great. I've been earning them this whole... Yester yesterday and today on Dead Space 2. It's a great game. I wish... PlayStation 4 had backwards compatibility. So I can stream it. For you, for you folks. Obviously, after my platinum run, not before. Hmm. Alright, let's see what I gotta do, because obviously, I've gotta push a button while swimming. So that means I've gotta go underwater. Man, I'm gonna have to leave it over there and swim a while. All right, well, we'll see what we'll see if that works. So I'm gonna have to leave it over and then swim across and then swim back. I'm not gonna lie, I totally got startled by that thing in the water and I forgot about it. I mean, I, I knew it's there, but I forgot about it. There it is. And it's funny, it's cool because you can see after you unload... That's cool. So you can see, after you use that little maneuver, and you bump into something, you're decommissioned for a couple seconds. 
Oh, there it is. What is that? The light is keeping it away and it's back. It's dangerous. I mean, this thing is dangerous. It's a girl. It's it's creepy and it's weird looking. And it's obviously it's I remember playing this and I thought it was so creepy. And j just to be a good showman, I'll show what happens right now when you don't put the light on it. It cracks inside somehow. And it kills the boy. <laughs> yeah, that's what it does. It kills you. So it's most definitely a hazard. Stay away. wasn't I that was not me being a showman <laughs> that was me screwing up I mean, it can swim I mean this thing can swim underwater and I mean this thing is not human I mean we are probably miles underwater just miles underwater and it can swim, and the water pressure isn't killing it, and it's got this long, creepy hair, right? It's just a creepy, it's a creepy thing. Oh, I've got it. Oh, that's what it is. I've got to close it. There it is. I've trapped it for now. See, this game is awesome. It's, I, I completely missed that red door. Right, but red means something not unlike uncharted yellow, right? It's just it's visual storytelling. I mean it's the visual cues that's what makes a game great, you know. The developer just hones in on his craft. And I missed that the first time, I totally did, but as soon as I saw it, I'm like, yeah, I need I, I know what I need to do. Right? It was this instant. And some of it has to be with like my maybe, you know, gamer brain, right? I've been playing games for a very long time now. I broke free finally. That looks like a sub. Again, me just being weird, see if I can find anything. I don't even think it's weird, honestly. It's just I'm I'm trying to see if I find any of these yellow wires, these power lines, as it were, to see if it leads me to more of the droid thingies. And I'm debating, I mean, I've been playing Dead Space 2 all day, literally, and I'm a little tired, and I'm debating whether, when I finish here with the stream, whether I should go back, I'm like, no, I think I'm gonna call it a night, I'm gonna listen to Colin's Last Stand Knockback, I gotta plug him real quick, Colin Moriarty from Colin's Last Stand, I'll give that a listen with his brother Dagan, Dagan Moriarty. Alright, so, 
the submarine section is done for now. You see the camera. The camera just hones in on the boy. It's, it's just cool. You see this far off distance thing. The visual style of this game is very distinct. I mean, obviously it's influenced by other things, but it's very, it's 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 very inside. Like you can see it, and you know what it is. Oh, oh, I thought it was gonna die. Okay, that's the door I've got to open. When I was sliding down. I was like, please don't let it be water. <laughs> I don't want to be in the water with that thing again. Something tells me I'm going to have to trek back all the way to that doorway. So this is... These are switches. But no power source, seeing as you can see the light is off. Again, more visual cues. Light represents electrical power. It's not on, it's off. Switches don't work. We need to turn on the power source. I think, I don't know, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm almost positive that's what it is. And of course, so we got the number 19 here. I vaguely remember this section. Let's go to the basement. And you can switch it midway. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's cool. The reason the boy is tilting his head back and forth is because I'm pressing right on the D-pad to push on it. I die if I fall. I've got to get these folks. Yeah. Okay. So I forgot. Okay. So there's a there's a large number of guys that I've got to recruit. And it's funny how they're wearing like overalls and they got like these boots, this very like blue collar type. Look at this industrial area. Oh God, water. I'm gonna die. So clearly I'm not supposed to go there just yet. We're gonna be here for a while because I, I really don't remember much of this. I know that up on the top where you saw that neon 19, that neon sign 19 with uh, yeah, I'm not supposed to go. Oh, I screwed up. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna have to kill myself. I screwed up. I wasn't supposed to. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, let me kill myself. Yeah, this is. Uh, well, yeah, this is what happens when you sort of don't do what the developer wants you to do. Yeah, you die. I sort of wish I would have fell on that stake. Would have been cool. Oh, okay, that's a problem. I'm gonna load it again. So that's weird. Unless... So the thing is, I've got to get, like, a huge number of guys on this platform somehow. And I don't remember how, but if we're gonna figure it out... So I think I've got to get enough guys on here to get that number down to zero. I don't remember. Let's go up.
if I if I remember correctly, there's a couple of guys I need to either have them toss me over, or they're supposed to fall down. I don't remember. All right, so this is a puzzle. So we're gonna figure it out. Nope. I've got it. It begins down. Yeah, it begins at the bottom. Cause I can't push this. I'm gonna need enough people to have them push it over. Yeah. All right. So it's kind of cool that the developer just gives you clues and hints. Play dead, but they don't necessarily tell you how to go about it. The bad thing is. You totally have to do it the way they wanted you to do it. And that's pretty clear right here. When I went down and I jumped. When I took that ladder down the stairs. Oh, down the stairs. When I took that ladder downstairs. If you don't do it the way that they want you to do it, then you sort of, you sort of break the game. And you're not allowed to progress. Which is fine. It's, there's no problem with that. This, I, can I pull this? Hmm, I don't remember what to do. I'm completely lost. I do not remember. Like, at all. I won't say I'm stumped. I'm going to figure it out. Stay. Maybe it's not supposed to stay. Maybe I didn't break the game at all. Maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be. I thought it was kind of cool. The animation of that kid. Maybe I do gotta go underwater then. Let's see, let's see what happens. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, totally supposed to go underwater. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. So we're good now. I got a head start. Made some headway. We'll be making that jump. Okay, yeah. Now we're in it. Now we're good. Oh, that's what it was. So I need the I need these guys to help. Yeah, there it is. I got it. They can lift me up. Yeah, that's what it was. There it is. So the kid wears the helmet, and with the helmet he can control the folks. Yeah, you see? Uh, lift, yeah, there you go. Okay, I got it. Took me a while. I should have stuck to it at the beginning, but... 
it's kind of cool you see the animation of the kid when he's pulling that wheel he goes up right and lifts him up I hope I don't lose any of them All right, good. excuse me okay good so now we're gonna go all the way towards the left hand side We're gonna pull that thing. Uh, well, he can lift me up later. Yeah. Or does he have to lift me up? I think he does. I think they. Have, I think they do have to lift me up. Let's see. Let's go back. What's back here? Nothing. They're still there. Okay. here. Oh, okay. So I can see the red. Will I die? Will they catch me? Oh, we can push together. Oh, I see what I'm going to do now in order, in order to get those wires. Okay. See, it's all, see, now it's all coming back to me. That's cool how they lift you up, right? That's awesome. Alright. Pick you up. There you go. And then they're going to help me push that cart. And I'll be able to get that wire. No, that was contextual. They're pushing automatically. I did no I did nothing once I jumped. Alright, climb over this. This should totally be a film. I mean I would love to see like an inside film made by Pixar or something. Now, I did that because I remembered it. <laughs> and there you go. There it is. That is a long ladder. St snake eater. What a thrill. I don't know the lyrics. In darkness and sadness through the night. Oh! Oh, this dog! No thrills. Lots of sadness in the dark. <laughs> Dog eater. Oh, man. Oh, that's what's gonna startle the dog. Okay. Can I brandish it? Okay, this is new because I never did this. Oh, he 
Gagliani. Oh. <laughs> no, I don't know how I'm going to get them to not bite me to death. And it's kind of gruesome. I mean, the game is gruesome in, in its death animations. Yeah, I've got to back him into a corner. That's what I need to do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're having her. They're frenzied. Okay, that was crazy. Oh, I wouldn't say it was a bit too much, but it was crazy. I got the other ones to appear. Okay, I know what I need to do. I can't try to be slick. So you've got to play it the way they want you to play, which is which is totally fine. I guess it makes sense. So I'll go in as much as I can, and then back them off little by little, and then get them all in a corner. Crazy how it's a little frustrating, but uh, what are you gonna do? Because see, because the thing is, if I have them on my right and my, and my left, right, when I go to pull the thing, they're gonna bite me and I'm gonna die. So I think that I have to. Get them all four in a corner. God damn it. Get them all four in a corner. And brandish it while I pull, and they won't get me. That's what I think. It's it's sort of like the same mechanic with the young girl underneath the water, the, the mermaid girl. Wow, okay, so the game's unfair. The game's unfair. Because I can't point towards the screen. I can oh, oh wow. That sucks. I can't point my flame on a horizontal flame. That sucks. Okay, that's stupid. 
well, I guess I'm just gonna try to pull it. Or maybe I'm just overthinking things. Maybe I'm supposed to have them at my back and front and just pull it. Now my dogs are barking. Shush! I guess they can hear they can hear the barking from the headphones and they're barking. I'm about to give up on this one. I mean, I don't want this to be the whole stream. I'm gonna give it one last shot. Afterwards, I'm gonna call it quits. Okay, I did. I overthought things. Absolutely. Oh. It's, I guess it's my personality. I just overthink things sometimes. I want to have plan A, B, C, and D. I want to hear this fizzle out. There it is. <laughs> what a thrill! Snake Eater. I tried to hit that high pitched voice, but I couldn't. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this one done. I may go a little long today, only because I want to get this puzzle done. I really do. And we're nowhere near done. With this puzzle, at least. So we've got this these gaggle of guys. Or like mannequins. They look like mannequins. They don't. <coughs> I'm pretty sure they're mannequins. I'm pretty sure they're not people. Look at this. You got this one guy with headphones on. Looks like he has headphones on. Yeah. Alright, let's go up. Oh, wow. You can see he's hanging. Look. <laughs> That's right, we're pushing these folks over. They won't die. Or maybe they will die. This little dog is barking. So apologies for the slight delay. Actually, I'll share the story with you, with, with everybody. I have two dogs, two little small dogs, two little Maltese's, Adolfo and Bella. They're 11 and 9, respectively. Love them. They're like my kids. I don't have any children, but if I had children, I'm pretty sure they'd be like, like Adolfo and Bella. Bella, great personality. She's very, what's the word? She's, she's very independent, right? This is who she is. All right, I'm pretty sure. There it is. She's very independent, very assertive, uh, eats when told, sits when told, right? She's a great dog. Not that Adolfo isn't, but Adolfo is just a little more dependent. 
Very clingy. He's a great dog. I love him. He's my first dog ever. Got this bad habit. And it's, really, it's my fault, really. Look at the animation on that. It's awesome. They're going to catch me? Are they going to catch me? They're going to catch me. When he wants... So he doesn't drink regular tap water. Right? His tap water... He doesn't drink... His, his water, first of all, is filtered. And it's cold. He only drinks cold water from the fridge. And I gotta make a video of this to show you fellas. I mean, you folks don't believe me, but I gotta show you this video. He'll go to the kitchen where we have uh, the fridge. And he will stand in front of it so someone can serve him water. And if you don't do that right away... Oh, uh, they're dead. Are they dead? Oh, no, they're not dead. They're waking up. But going back to Adolfo, he will stand there, and if you don't give him his water, he will bark. And he will continue to bark until he gets his cold water. And it's totally my fault because, you know, I got him accustomed to it. And I guess I, I guess I can change it, right? I can starve him from water, but I'm not going to do that. Gonna, these folks are all going to have to pick me up and throw me. We got more fellas. Alright, I know what I did. Just before it reaches the apex, I gotta switch it. Alright, so before that. So, when it goes midway, maybe. So anyway, yeah, he, he only drinks cold water. There it is. Got him. Hmm, let's see, is there anything over there? Nothing. So we've got quite a bit of guys. We've got a workforce here. We're gonna... They're gonna build something. They're gonna build a big, beautiful wall. <laughs> let me see, let me, I'm just joking around. This is a family friendly show, no politics in here. But, but I mean, just look at these guys, I mean, they're all ready to work. They've got their overalls, they're uh... They're all ready to work. Music's change, if you can tell. Something about the music's change. Do I have enough? Is this it? I do. I do have enough. And there it is. And there it is. It's really cool. This is awesome. This is great because. Oh, great! This is. Oh man, this is one of my favorite sections. So I'll be honest. I don't know what causes this. So there's like these sonic booms, and you can hear them, right? And you can see it. That's awesome. It just destroyed. It destroyed that wooden box, and it just destroyed the boy, it just blew him into bits. I mean, he was just totally blasted away, smithereens, I mean. Just barely. Just barely. So I've got to run and I got to pull that lever forward, which is awesome.
barely. Oof. That's so cool. I remember. I, forgot, I totally forgot about this section. I've got to time it real quick. Oh, it's got me. Now it's got me again. totally forgot about the timing mechanism here too. Yeah, this is like, I remember when I first played it, it completely threw me just for a loop. I'm like, what is this? The thing I kept thinking about, I'm like, what is going on here? I remember when I first played it, I'm like, what is going on here? When, when this happened, I'm like, this is like an alien invasion. There was an alien invasion. That's what I kept thinking of. And I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of conspiracy theories or things of that sort, right? But I just kept thinking, alien fucking invasion, man. Always looking back. I mean, the animation on this kid is awesome. And we're safe somehow. Whew, that was really cool. And it's 10 o'clock, people. We're gonna leave it here for now, but this is a great preview of what's to come next week. I mean, just let, look how eerie this is. I mean, we've got people sitting down on these seats, and you can pull a lot of things from it. You can say it looks like a classroom. I don't think it looks like a classroom. I think it looks like death row. I mean, these are just inmates, and they're just sitting down, and they're gonna be killed. They're gonna be executed. I mean, these folks are gonna die. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Uh, it was great streaming tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen. This is Gus here from AEG. Make sure to check us out on Twitch, YouTube, uh, on aver at Average Everyday Gaming. Make sure to check us out on Twitter uh, at Average Gaming 17. Make sure to check me out, uh, Gus. I'm over on Twitter at Goose underscore seven. Goose underscore seven spelled S E the number 7EN make sure to check us out I really hope you enjoyed the stream uh, make sure to leave any comments, questions, concerns uh, anything that can make the stream better any games you guys would like uh, to see me stream I'm, I'm gonna 
stick to streaming this for now until I finish it. And then next up, I have no idea. Maybe I'll go back to Tacoma. But yeah, we're going to stick with Inside for now. Alright, have a great one, everybody. Bye-bye.